So today I've got an interesting one. It's called the Wooger strap. Wooger. Wooger. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Now this thing is kind of like something I featured here a little while back. <laughs> You feel the bass. And then I got a lot of feedback from people, specifically music producers that were like, man, I can replicate what a mix might sound like on a big sound system, even though I'm only using headphones. And now this company, they have their own take beyond the realm of sound. Wear it, feel it, feel it. That's the key part. Vroom. Born to feel in the box, strap, audio cable, micro USB charging cable, user manual, and carrying pouch. Playing video games, watching movies, and of course, VR. As an early adopter, you're making history. Straight on your chest, it can be around your waist if you like to rumble down there. Or you can wear it kind of like a messenger bag. Intimate contact with the body! It's very important. Here is the strap. Yes, quite portable in fact. Looks kind of cool as well. Power, up, down, plus, minus, probably volume. The headphone output, the audio input. So this is how you will attach it. I guess you could wear it underneath a jacket or something and then no one even knows you're vibing out. Micro USB cable and a mini jack connector. A very convenient little carrying pouch and the whole thing goes in there. Oh baby it does and that was a fairly strong vibration. Let me grab some headphones and see what this thing can do. And then headphones connected to the headphone output. What am I doing? I gotta get the strap on. now. Are we cool wearing like this? This to me is the most reasonable because at least then you have your controls here and your headphone output. If I wanted to hide it a little bit more, I could have it on underneath. Prepare for liftoff. Is that it? Is it just gonna all of a sudden start? Oh, absolutely. It's going straight in there. Woo! It's like amping up my headphones too, way more than the phone would be doing on its own. And I'm assuming that these controls, it lets you control volume, but I think also the power of this thing, this is worth mentioning, it does support Bluetooth also. I could be on an electric skateboard just flowing through the universe. Sensation up, sensation down. So they're calling it sensation, I'm calling it vibration. Tons of volume to play with. Ah oh, man, you know, I just, I'm feeling it right now. You don't really recognize what you're missing when it's just the sound, when it's no vibe. I mean, it's like standing beside a gigantic bass cabinet and a bass guitar that hits you in the chest. How much is this, Will? 170 bucks? Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Eee. It's not just like first person shooters, but any of those suspenseful horror type games. Ooh, man. You know that kind of anxiety where you feel like you're vibrating? That is, wow. Yeah, it's very tense. Ah. <sighs> Imagine I had a giant display here. I'm on another planet, right? All right, so the way that the Bluetooth works is it syncs up to the strap and then the strap outputs via the headphone jack. This gets around like having to sync multiple Bluetooth devices and then maybe even just use like a basic set of earbuds into this port. So I could see people doing this. So what we're really checking here is the performance gonna be as good as with a dedicated, like a nice headset and the wired connection when we're going over Bluetooth and we have a crappy headset. Can it improve even these simple Apple ear pods? Let's find out. Ooh. It sounds amazing. These are not even good. What they're lacking, this gives you. It does give the effect. It makes it feel... Woo! It's good. It's good. This thing is good. Not everybody in the world is going to own one. It's 170 bucks. You've got to be an enthusiast if you are into making music, producing music. It gets you to that kind of euphoric place faster. At the end of the day, it is a vibrating strap. And it's not going to be for everyone because of that reason. It really serves this very specific function. I would be very surprised if it didn't put a smile on your face. And if it didn't put a smile on your face, I would also question whether or not you're alive.